all the YouTubers are official Gary here and you're watching the barbed wire tutorial and uh, yeah basically found out how to do this a while back and um, yeah I'm just going to be showing you how to do it uh, if you don't know who like does it or where it came from like Darth, Darth Vader sorry um, started using it and uh, it's kind of like a barbed wire sort of thing going around his text but yeah I'm just going to show you the basics and uh, yeah I'll show you like different ways you can use it as well I suppose so all you're going to do is get a circle and bring it up press control C control V and bring it down in fact sorry you're going to get a end side instead of a circle so get your end side and just bring that all the way down to about there and once you've done that, you can just full screen this part and move it to about here. Then move this over here. Alright, so once you've done that, um, all you're going to do is come out here and get a sweet nubs and yeah, just have that handy. Then what you want to do is you want to take these two end sides and press C on the keyboard and then go to connect objects and delete now you have this kind of weird looking thing but now what you're going to do is just add them into the sweep knobs and as you can see it's like two circles uh, but I'm just going to size this down to about there then go to your sweep knobs and put the end rotation up to about whatever looks good Oops. Yeah. You can just keep playing around with it. Um, see what 4000 look, looks like. That's a bit far fetched. Right, yeah, that'll do. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like barbed wire with the twisted parts, I'm just going to scale that down. Alright so yeah now you've got that, now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is the tricky part, um, so if you just kind of close that off just now, and um, you're going to get another end side and just scale it down. Right, pay attention to this part because it's quite tricky, um, but not really if you're good at modelling, but if this is new to you then yeah it could be. So. Um, what you're going to do is come to this little thing here and then um, press C on the keyboard and as you can see you've just got your points here which you can move but you don't want to do that just yet what you're going to do is get your knife tool by right clicking and going to knife and uh, yeah you just start from about like here and just cut two slits so like that and then you're just going to come on to the inside and where it says close spline untick that and then stay on this little point thing and just drag this down to about here in fact drag this down to here and drag that up to there keeping it on the line and uh, yeah, basically when you've done that, you can go into full screen again on the actual main interface. And uh, all you're going to do here is hold shift. Oops, sorry, stay on that. Um, hold shift. In fact, now you can go into that. Okay. Yeah, I was right the first time. <laughs> Right, yeah, so um, make sure you're on your end side and click on that and hold shift at the same time and move over 10. Do the same for this part 10, 10, 10. Oops, That bit looks a bit off, so if you want to fix that, you can just do it kind of like manually. Right, 
so it looks like that and uh, yeah you're just going to go same here but like to the right instead of the left so 10 10 10 and now you can see you've got this kind of like barbed wire shape thing but now what you're going to do is click on this square thing and duplicate it now once you've done that you're going to come down to this part where it says B down at the rotation section and just press 180 and spin it right around so you've got this shape here now now that you have that you can go to right click connect objects and delete and there uh, yeah it's one object well one spline and then basically what you're going to do is get another sweep nubs and just add that in and then get a circle and scale it all the way down to the size you want like the bulbs to be so about there and uh, yeah basically all you have to do now is drop that into the sweet nubs and uh, yeah it's pretty much your barb but not quite finished yet so yeah all you're going to do now is come onto your sweet nubs and uh, you're going to come on this little section where it says like scale and uh, come to spline presets and cubic and then that brings up all these little points so it looks like a, a mess now but just drag them up onto like the lines and keep like these two down so we'll space them out and then we're going to do straighten these little things here drag them out a bit at the corners and as you can see you get the sharp edges now um, to make this look a bit more realistic you just got, uh, you can come on to this bit again and click on your uh, spline and then um, get your knife tool out again and just cut down here and then cut down here and then if you go back onto that make that active you can see it's kind of like not going all the way down it starts like going down at the tip so that looks a bit more realistic and there uh, yeah now that's basically you done so um, you can just enable that again and just amp the size of the circle up So just move the size of that up and yeah you've got that so um to 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 banking and stuff oops that's bad all right yeah so now we uh, basically what you're going to do is take this here which is your barb and then you're gonna get a cloner and just drag that into the cloner is that right? yeah it should be <laughs> so that's in the cloner I think Hold up. Yeah, you've got a cloner. Is that no, no, no? Yeah, so I add that into the cloner and make the cloner object. And then basically, what you're going to do is come into your circle and just add the circle into the object part. And boom, you've got barbed wire. So, yeah, basically, you can just scale these down like so. And uh, yeah, basically, that's your basic barbed wire tutorial. So, um I'm just going to scale the size of that up a little bit and uh, yeah now um, I'll show you how you can use this in like variations of stuff like um, 
material like uh, backgrounds and stuff. So um, yeah, basically, uh, I just opened my Lightroom. Well, not mine, but the text setup I use. <laughs> Delete that and come over. Grab my barbed wire and add that in. Now you just kind of space that out a bit. Alright, yeah, so basically, um, you don't have to use the circle for this, like, you can use hand drawn stuff, but uh, yeah, sometimes it messes up. Uh, but if you're not fix that, it's okay. Um, but yeah, if you have like a a B spline, then what you can do is actually go into the face part and just draw out a spline. So so you're looking for something like that, like a kind of rope thing. Uh, all you do is come back on here and. Instead of uh, this circle, you just add in the spline. But as you can see, this is where it mucks up. But yeah, what you can do is if it starts doing that and you can't rotate it to like a perfect position, then you see it just kind of goes like that. But if it's starting to do that, what you can do is keep your spline but delete like the sweet knob spot. Oops. Drag it out. Yeah, so delete that part. And if you don't have this plugin, uh, most of you should. If you're like GFX people, um, you go into Reaper and just add that in. And uh, on your Reaper settings, you want to make a radius about two, the distance about two, and the strands two. And uh, yeah, basically that looks alright. Maybe change that to four if you want like a big kind of. Barb uh, wire, so um, yeah, what you're doing now is where it over here on the cloner where it says object, you're just going to come in and add the spline in. And yeah, like it looks okay, but the spacing's pretty weird. Um, you probably have to play about with it, but yeah, uh, you can just change the size of them again. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, what you can do and all is obviously add your material, so I'm just going to do that just now, so put that on the wire and metal wool for the valves and there uh, you have to render this out just now should look pretty cool now obviously uh, as you see now I drew my own wire there and uh, you can draw that like brain text and stuff if you want to so yeah it comes in quite handy and actually this guy here was looking for it uh, like the request so yeah he's going to be wanting this tutorial <laughs> but yeah basically I'll just pause this just now and um, replay it we'll play it when uh, that's finished rendering so you don't have to wait so uh, yeah see you in a bit so yeah guys, there's a the finishing piece, um, as you can see it looks really nice, uh, you might be thinking wow, the bars don't look perfect, but you can play around with it, you know, like, maybe they won't perfect in this tutorial, but yeah, if you play around with it, you could get them looking really nice, a bit more realistic maybe, but I'd say they look really nice, um, look quite real, the points and stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can basically just loop around text. Uh, be really creative with this. Um, it's quite a good style to do. Um, probably Dear Vader um, has an easier way to do this. I've been told there's a way to do it with Gribble, um which is way easier than actually drawing it out and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, <laughs> I don't know, this is all I know how to do it, um, 
But yeah, Der Vader usually releases a tattoo rule after he does his style, so you'll probably have a better way to do it. But yeah, anyway, um, like I said, thanks for watching, and uh, please leave a thumbs up if this helped, and also subscribe for more tutorials and speed arts. Um, so yeah, cheers.